Hi, this is a lesson on place value and patterns, and it goes with GoMath, lesson 1.1 for fifth grade. And our learning intention today is that you, the students, can explain and give some examples to show that each place value is either 10 times as much as or one-tenth of uh, the place that's next to it. And we're going to find that by multiplying by 10 or dividing by 10. The skills you're going to need is, uh, you're going to need the, to know the names of the place values. And so, you know, if I say the hundred thousands place or something like that, you'll have to know what I'm talking about. And then there's two key uh, phrases that you need to know for this lesson. One-tenth of and ten times as much. Now, one you should already know. Ten times as much is pretty simple. It's times ten. All right, so you take the number, multiply it by ten, and you have ten times as much as that number. But one tenth of is a little bit more difficult to figure out, and we're going to see that as dividing by, oh, not 20. We're going to see that as dividing by 10. And um, it's also multiplying by one tenth, but multiplying by one tenth and dividing by 10 are the same thing. In fact, that one tenth of uh, is so important to this lesson, I want us to write it down so that we have it in our notes and so when we see it again later, we'll know exactly what that means. So pause the video, write the notes, start the video, and continue the lesson. Okay, there's a couple of different ways that the information is presented to you and the problems are written. The first way is in a table and this one is very, very straightforward. It gives you a number, 40, 1,000, or 50,000, and asks you how much is 10 times that number in this column and how much is one-tenth of that number in this column. Uh, and I'm just going to write some notes on the top times 10 and divide by 10. So remember one-tenth of means divide by 10. And the multiplying to me is super easy. And there's kind of a trick to it. Here's what I don't want you to do. I don't want you to multiply 40 times 10 and go through the algorithm and figure out what that is. Let's do this mentally, and I'm going to show you kind of a trick to do this mentally. And when I'm multiplying by 10, I can just take a 0, 1, 0, because the 10 is 1, 0, and write it on the number I'm multiplying by 10, and that will be my answer. So if I'm multiplying 40 times 10, I start with the 40, and I take the 0 from the 10, and I write it on the end of the number. And to me, that's super easy. Right, so let's multiply 1,000 times 10. I'm going to start with the 1,000, and I'm not going to write the comma in there because the comma is going to change when I put the 0 from the 10 onto that number. Uh, the comma goes after three digits, right? So it would go there. Now, 50,000 multiplied by 10 is taking 50,000, that's 5 with 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then writing another 0 because I'm multiplying it by 10. Uh, and then I would count 3 over, put the comma in there. So multiplying by 10 is super easy, you just write another 0 on the end of the number. So if multiplying is writing another 0 on there, Dividing by 10 is the exact opposite, and you're going to take a zero off of there. So if I started with the number I'm multiplying, 40, and took my eraser and erased the zero, took it off, that's what dividing by 10 is. So it's 40 divided by 10 is 40 with the, the zero taken off. And so let's apply that same idea to these other numbers. So if I had 1,000, took my eraser, and took the zero off of there, I'd be have one, or I'd have 100. You can also say, I'm just going to cross it out, and then write the number without the comma, but write the number of digits in there, 5000 zero, zero, zero in the answer. To me, it's a little easier to use the eraser, but um, you might want to save your eraser and just cross that out and copy down the digits. So 50,000, one-tenth of that is 5,000. And to me, that's really straightforward, and that should not take you very long. Uh, your task today is page 7 and 8. Do that with 90% accuracy. And